Stories allow us to see humanity word by word and sentence by sentence. The stories within this year's National Book Award finalist for fiction include an author's disorienting book tour, one woman's life on the plains of Indiana, and the love between two enslaved men on a plantation in the Deep South. From an abbey in 12th century France to an interstellar ship in the 22nd century, these books show us that we are more alike than we are different. The panel chair for this year's National Book Award for Fiction is Luis Alberto Urrea, the author of 18 books, including The House of Broken Angels. He is a distinguished professor of creative writing at the University of Illinois, Chicago. Buenas tardes, mundo. I can't believe uh, I got this opportunity to chair this committee. Uh, I want to thank everybody at uh, the foundation for this opportunity. I want to thank uh, Ruth and Anna, especially for helping us create the world's coolest book club. Did we really read hundreds of books? Yeah, we did. And, you know, they were amazing. So many of those hundreds of authors rose to this troublesome and troubling era. Um, it was very difficult, but quite an honor and quite a blessing to do it. Um, everybody on the team brought their A game. And a little shout out to the committee, which was Alan Michael Parker, Emily Pullen, Margaret Wilkerson Sexton, and Charles Yu, the all-time champion. So the nominees are Cloud Cuckoo Land, Anthony Doerr, Scribner, Simon, and Schuster. Matrix by Lauren Groff from Riverhead Books, Penguin, Random House. Zori by Laird Hunt, Bloomsbury Publishing. The Prophets, Robert Jones Jr., G.P. Putnam's Sons, Penguin, Random House. And Hell of a Book by Jason Mott, Dutton, Penguin, Random House. And this year's National Book Award for Fiction goes to Hell of a Book, Jason Mott! Jason Mott, Hell of a Book, Dutton Books, an imprint of Penguin Random House. With audacity and invention, Jason Mott's Hell of a Book weaves together three narrative strands, an unnamed author, a boy named Soot, and a figure known as The Kid into a masterful novel. In a structurally and conceptually daring examination of art, fame, family, and being black in America, Mott somehow manages the impossible trick of being playful, insightful, and deeply moving all at the same time. A highly original, inspired work that breaks new ground. Um, excuse me, I am a bit overwhelmed right now. Um, I did write this um, acceptance speech ahead of time, just in case I got really overwhelmed, which is completely happening right now. Um, so I'm just going to read, and please bear with me if I stumble through this. I would like to begin by apologizing to all of those whom, due to time constraints, I will not be able to thank tonight. Just trust that I will be thanking you personally in the days and the weeks to come. Tonight, I would like to thank my agent, Michelle Brower, who exactly 10 years ago this month picked me out of the slush pile, and who since that day has been constant and awe-inspiring in her love, support, and friendship. I would like to thank my editor, John Parsley, and the entire team over at Dutton who believed in this novel and helped bring it into being. Again, there are too many people to name, but I thank you all. I wanna thank my friends and family or the people who truly made not only tonight possible, but who make all the other days and nights possible. To my parents who did not live to see this day, but who are watching right now, to everyone, we made it. Lastly, I would like to dedicate this award to all the other mad kids, to all the outsiders, the weirdos, the bullied, the ones 
so strange that they had no choice but to be misunderstood by the world and by those around them. The ones who, in spite of this, refused to outgrow their imagination, refused to abandon their dreams, and refused to, de to deny, diminish their identity or their truth or their loves, unlike so many others. Thank you very, very much.